overview of uh, overview of the um, uh, biomass conversion so here we have feedstock in which we include agriculture residue uh, energy crops forest uh, resources organic waste and algae deconstruction and fractionation uh, fractionation by here we um, come towards the intermediates which are sugar intermediate chemicals and after that by synthesizing and upgrading we come to an end product that are fuel chemicals and power so uh, my main focus is on the biomass conversion so i am considering the biomass because uh, as we know the fossil fuels they are uh, they are really uh, like uh, non renewable uh, resources like petrol and diesel they are consumed in a large amount so we really need to think the, about the about an alternative so that we can save it for our future generation and uh, so um, so uh, i have a biomass uh, so i want to introduce my topic that is biomass conversion in which uh, we will be focusing on hmf uh, hmf and uh, from that we will be making some of the chemicals which will which are really important for the uh, industry so the main purpose of choosing hmf what is only that that it is one of the top 12 uh, chemicals uh, uh, which are used uh, according to the us department of energy so i also want to draw your attention towards the metal free catalyst uh, and uh, in metal free catalyst i really want to tell that uh like we use metal catalysts which are really toxic and uh, metal free um, catalyst they will uh, they will not cause uh, as much toxicity so in in my last uh, uh, slide i want to share the hmf and uh, by its oxidation we can go to fbpa hmfpa and uh, also by reduction we can make 25 dh uh, dhmf and uh, by oxidation we can make dfs which are uh, really very good chemicals for the industry thank you thank you ma'am thank you now i will to miss sakshi present her paper miss sakshi sakshi are you present Miss Sakshi, are you present? Good evening, ma'am. Ma'am, am I audible? Yes, Sakshi. Good evening to all. The topic of my presentation is carbon hydrogen bond activation of biomass derived organic substrate using nitrile supported carbon based heterogeneous catalyst. So first of all we focus on aim and objectives aim for fabrication of noble carbon based materials from renewable feedstock and fine tuning of surface of carbon nano material for removing their toxicity. Heterogeneous catalyst is used for CH activation of biomass derived sulfur. Next इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द ट्रेडिशनल क्रॉस कपलिंग रिएक्शन जो मोस्टली यूज किए जाते हैं उन, उनका उन, उन मेथड्स में क्या होता है कि जो कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन होती है uh, उनमें हमें पहले ग्रिफलेट्स बनाने पड़ते हैं uh, या फिर हमें हेलाइट बनाने पड़ते हैं जो कि एक एडिशनल स्टेप उनमें ऐड uh, हो जाता है और लेटर इशू ये होता है कि जो पर्टिकुलरली प्रॉब्लमेटिंग फॉर रियजिंग दैट विल बी इंट्रोड्यूस इन टू द एनवायरमेंट एज दीज प्रोसेस आर नॉट एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली और यूज फॉर बायोलॉजिकल एप्लीकेशन There is the development of related synthetic methods that are based on transformation of CH rather than CF bond. CH bond activation is a methodology activating the carbon hydrogen bond and directly forming carbon carbon bond, which is most fundamental linkage in organic chemistry. CH bond activation open a new gateway to reduce these procedures and problems, thus making these reactions a cost-effective, convenient, reduces steps, energy, time, chemical material, and make reaction eco-friendly. Although CH bond activation methodology is eco-friendly but require high energy, so for easy activation, catalysts play an important role in activating CH bond activation. So uh for uh, these uh, for preparation of catalyst we use carbon based carbon materials for the doping of uh, uh, doping of metal because metals are generally uh, toxic which are used in heat 
heterogeneous catalysis. So, uh, uh, carbon support based materials are one of the emerging research areas for rational development. Even though the heterogeneous catalysts provide an easy, easy separation recyclability over homogeneous com uh, catalysts, commonly used metal uh, used in heterogeneous catalysis are PD, RU, AU, AG. Uh, but these metals possess less selectivity. Therefore, selection of appropriate support become utmost uh, to expose many active sites of catalysts. So our work involves global catalysts, where we dope the metal directly over the surface of carbon material using ionic liquids. And we uh, apply that uh, carbon-based heterogeneous catalyst over the biomass-derived organic substrates like sulfuryl, HMF, uh, cellulose, so that uh, we attain a products that are uh, very important in industries. Industrial uh, field, there's an application uh, for herbicides, industrial solvents, polymer fabrication, and in medicinal applications, uh, control drug delivery and optic optical disorders. And in environment applications, uh, there's a water decontamination also. So thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sakshi. Now I request to Ms. Garima Johan. Ms. Garima Chauhan, are you present? Ms. Garima, are you present? Ma'am, Ma can I give the presentation now? Ms. Garima, hello. Hello, ma'am. Sikhamani from this side. Can I give the presentation now? Yes, you can. It's start your presentation, Shikamani. Ms. Garima. Hello. Ma'am, I will give, uh, give the presentation after Gorima. Okay. Please start your presentation, Ms. Gorima. Ms. Gorima, start giving your presentation. मेरी आवाज आ रही है मैं आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही है हेलो मैम आई एम ऑडिबल यस देन मैं स्टार्ट ओके ओके मैम Okay, so good afternoon to all of you. Myself, Garima Chauhan, and today I'm going to present my topic that is on isolation, cloning, and heterologous expression of thermostable xylenase gene from geothermal spring using a metagenomics approach. Okay, so in India, around 500 million tons of agro wastes are generated annually. And we can use it for the production of biofuel. So agro waste comprises of cellulose, hemicellulose, pectin, and lignin. I am focusing on hemicellulose. So hemicellulose is mainly consists of xylen, mannan, and xyloglucan. And xylen is basically composed of xylose backbone linked via beta-1,4 glycosidic linkage and contain various side groups like arabinosyl, acetyl, and glucuronosyl. And uh, a backbone of xylen is uh, hydrolyzed using xylenase enzyme, which is a hydrolytic enzyme that cleave beta-1,4 glycosidic linkage bond present in backbone of xylen and convert it into xylose sugar. These are the few applications of xylenases, and this is the workflow. 
So first is isolation of meta genome from various soil samples, then amplification of xylenase gene after amplification uh, sequencing of it, and then blue white colony screening of recombinant clones, cloning of gene into linearized tree vector and transform it into E. coli host, then analyze the gene, and then subcloning of xylenase gene into expression vector, then screening of recombinant clone and confirmation of insert using colony PCR and restriction digestion, then its enzyme assay. So this is the isolation of metagenome from various soil samples. And this is the xylenase gene amplified using degenerate primer and it was of 964 base pair in size. And this is the sequencing result of PCR product. This is the blast and analysis of xylenase gene that show it had 97.02% identity with Conella A01 xylen B gene. And this is the pair by sequence alignment of xylenase gene with Conella A01. This is the blast X analysis of xylenase gene that showed 97% query coverage and 99% identity with endo 1 for beta xylenase of Conella levoribosi. And uh, I have predict ORF using NCBI uh, online ORF finder tool. So this is the longest ORF of xylenase gene, which is of 320 amino acids. And this is the uh, cloning result of xylenase gene into linearized T vector. So figure A is the uh, uh, blue white screening of recombinant clone on LB agar ampicillin plate. Figure B is the isolation of recombinant clones containing xylenase G. Uh, figure C is the uh, 964 base pair colony PCR of xylenase gene. And figure D is the restriction digestion of recombinant vector using Biomature and Zoan that show it has 964 base pair xylenase gene. So it is a confirmatory result. And then subcloning of xylenase gene into expression vector. So here I have used restriction enzyme to digest the recombinant vector. Uh, so figure A is the subcloning of xylenase gene into uh, PET28 expression vector. Figure B is the colony PCR of recombinant clones. Figure C is the restriction. Is time is over. Okay, 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 ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Dhamis Karima. Now, next presentator is Ms. Shikamani Kola. Ms. Shikamani Bora. Shikamani, am I audible? Are you present, Ms. Shikamani? Now, next presentator is Ms. Bodal Kamlesh Bhai Ubert. Shikamani, please start your presentation. Hello. Hello, Shikamani, start your presentation. Am I audible, ma'am? Hello, start your presentation. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Is my screen showing? Start your presentation, Shikamani. Abna presentation start kiji. Yes, this is a Brazilian biomedical perspective on agar formation. So this this is uh, this is uh, this is Yes, madam. Ms. Brodar, please start your presentation. Yes, madam. Yeah. <laughs> 
so मैडम आवाज आ रही है मैडम स्क्रीन दिखाई दे रही है माई सेल्फ मृणाल कमलेश भाई भट्ट एंड माई टॉपिक इज आइसोलेशन स्क्रीनिंग एंड मॉलिकुलर कैरेक्टराइजेशन ऑफ एक्टिनोमाइसिटीज ऑफ सेल्यूलाइज एंजाइम प्रोड्यूसर my uh, research work is a uh, cellulo uh, on the cellulose cellulose is the most pre uh, prevalent organic polysaccharide produced by agriculture activity paper and pulp industry and textile industry uh, actinomycetes isolation was done uh, uh, done by uh, done uh, sc agar plate Uh, and uh, different uh, uh, my sample collection site is from the different lignocellulose contain agri soil uh, then quali uh, qualitative screening then quantitative screening then morphological and biochemical identification then uh, uh, molecular characterization by 16s uh, rrna gene sequencing this is the my result a uh, total 30 isolates of actinomycetes have been isolated using sc agar Uh, out of a uh, thirty, uh, the four is uh, a best result of zone of hydrolysis. Uh, the maximum zone of hydrolysis is three point six centimeter. The isolate is MMD one, uh, and the quantitative uh, uh, qualitative assay of potent five isolate out of thirty is uh, of enzyme assay endo beta one for glucanase. an fps of a 72 hours incubation period the maximum uh, uh, enzyme activity is mmd1 5.4 is in uh, endo beta 1 for glucanase and a 4.4 is fps 72 by the uh, all uh, initiating with five base strain of actinomycetes and cumulating uh, uh, to one strain mmd1 through a series of experiment uh the uh, carried for of for uh, uh, exploiting significant lignocellulose degrade it was uh, streptomyces chattertorensis ncbi gene bank submission number and the effective uh, cellulose degraders thank you thank you mr kumar now i would request chair persons and audience please you all are again to towards the birthday purpose hall for voluntary functions and participate please wait for certificate distribution yeah. 